Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our start from scratch map here on Elm Creek. And uh, we're just finishing up this field here. This will finish up this contract soon. Well, as soon as we turn in the crop, that is. But at least we got that field done, and then we can move over to field 59 and start working on that as well. Let's just come over here and unload real quick. Uh, pipe out. That's what's in there blocking traffic. This machine is nice. I mean, it's it's big, beefy, and goes pretty quick. All right, there's that. Back back in. We'll swing over here to field 59. And get it going over here. Uh, it'll work. Um, where are we taking this to? Uh, they're both going to the farmer's market. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and zip this up there while we're loading back up again, just because it will. Well, actually, might as well wait for another mostly full load. We got quite a bit of space left in this thing. All right, so there's that. Um, other than that, we do have a fertilizing contract we can pick up. Um, which we might as well get it that done as well. Do we still have fertilizer back at our... I can't remember if we had anything over here left or not. I don't think so, do we? I think we got rid of it. Do not see it. All right, so we'll just use the liquid fertilizer. That will be fine. And are we having any? We don't have any in there right now. And this is all herbicide, right? Yeah, I see the little red symbol right there. <laughs> Just double check. That is herbicide. Okay. Uh, so let's swing over here. We'll have to buy some fertilizer. Let's make sure we take a, can take the contract before I go too crazy over here. Uh, grab the fertilizing contract. We will not borrow items. We'll just accept it as is. And now we'll do that. Let's check this real quick. Nothing here that I can see that I would want. It's fine. Uh, we want pallet of liquid fertilizer. Um, honestly, I don't know how much we would want. Probably just the two thousand. It should be fine. In fact, that should that should give us some left over. Should be good. There we go. Let's zip on over to field 41. What are we doing on money to, uh, so far today? Uh, a little bit short, but some of that is the construction cost. That, that's We did the honey hive today, didn't we, on this day? So we'll... Uh, We'll be able to recoup some of that with these contracts. Should get back to a positive side of things, I think. Oh, and then of course the fertilizer cost that we just paid. Of course. I 
I need to check. Um, I've been checking the flower prices. They're starting to go back up. We might be able to start selling the flower again here very soon. But I have not checked the straw prices. And we do need to unload that trailer before we start doing grass stuff at some point. Well, silage, I guess. Get you rolling. The uh, sugar beet guys should be almost full. Not quite, actually. Take a little bit longer. Although we could drive next to him now and go ahead and fill this thing up. Just probably a good idea. That way we can go ahead and start heading to uh, to drop the stuff off. Alright, 40,000 liters. <laughs> A lot of sugar beets. Pretty heavy too. This tractor... It's a pretty decent tractor and it's still having a little bit of trouble pulling this. Alright, let's get you going to the farmer's market, please. And go, my friend, go. Or don't go. There you go. Took you a minute. All right, well, that's going. Um, let's check the prices again, because again, I haven't. Need to make sure I'm keeping an eye on these. Flour, 603, and going up at the fast food restaurant. So hopefully, I can get. To, if that gets to six. 50 plus i think we definitely sell it at that point uh the honey is unfortunately low and then the straw i'm guessing is probably still pretty low straw is still relatively low compared to what it could be so we'll wait for that and give it a chance to continue going up you sir are having troubles getting the whole field for some reason I'm just going to come back and get that last little bit later. I don't know why it keeps turning off the grass. I kind of want to just leave that on, but every time I reload the game, it's like, oh, we, we assume you don't want to see grass anymore. There's actually a lot of grass fields. Wow, that could actually end up being some... Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the grass. I had it off the grass the tab. My bad. I was like, wait a minute, that's a lot of grass fields. No, these are just really grown up. Uh, is that cotton? Cotton could turn into some really good... Uh, money for us. We can if we get an opportunity to harvest that co those cotton fields. We got a lot of money off the last cotton harvest that we did, so that would be really nice to have. All right, you're going along. You're already halfway full. You are not quite where we want you to be yet, but you're getting there. Where are you going? Oh, you're over there. Wow. Took a different path than I was expecting. I like that bridge right there. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's simple, but uh, for some reason, I just like it with the river underneath it or the. That's, I don't know. And the walkway over there with the park benches. That's really cool. And obviously a nice place to, to to get some trees if you're doing the tree stuff i might do trees at some point i mean I, i've got to figure it out at some point in my farming simulator life 
but uh don't expect much if I do end up doing that. My goodness, why are we weaving all over the place? This dropped off. I'm not sure which contract it'll do first. It may matter on which order you pick them up in. That might be the difference. I really don't know. No, oh, I went the wrong spot. This is not where we want to be. Can we cut through up here somewhere? Probably very dangerously this is the sawmill though well there you go if we ever wanted to do trees this is where we would come all right we're about to spill all of our crops watch it oh oh we're gonna make it oh little bump ah we made it we're good no harm no foul we decided this drops off at the not slot slotted spot, right? Yep, there we go. All right, let's get this dropped off. And it is doing the bigger contract first. Although we've already transported 25% of it. Uh, I guess it's because we did all that other field. I was going to say we're like barely even two rows in. All right. Let's zip you back over to this guy. Let's head that direction, my friend. Um, what is a good price for sugar beets? Like, are we even close to a decent price? Probably not because it's we're harvesting time. And if I've understand the prices so far they're usually like a few months after actual harvest when you would expect the supply to be low but how far off is it sugar beets uh actually right now at 145 at goldcrest valley uh would be pretty decent i mean average is 122 and all three of these prices are above average uh good is 177 though so we're a bit ways off of that all right you're gonna zip back over there you need to Fix yourself, my friend. Assuming you're not finished with the contract yet. Uh, let's double check. Um, no. Apparently, we're still missing some of the contract. What are we missing? Must have turned around somewhere else that I was not expecting. Oh, this whole line down here, I guess. All right. We'll zip back over there. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. Still got... <laughs> wow. We used 45 liters of fertilizer. Uh, it's, this fertilizer is going to last us quite a while. Uh, I guess we'll zip back over to the store and drop it off there. Just an easy place to store it. That way we can swap with the other stuff as needed. Alright, let's 
get you driving over there on your own. And that'll work. All right, you're good, you're good. You're heading back. You're almost there, maybe. Where are you at? Oh yeah, you're almost there. We'll take over. So cut sugar beets are worth a bit more. Oh, as I'm looking at this other screen, it did exactly what the worker sometimes does. Um, so cut sugar beets are worth like 50% more. It looks like it's about 40, about, probably about 40% more, uh, which is, you know, not bad. It would be good to, uh, to do that at some point. Um, but we'd have to get a special, I actually don't know how to cut them. I don't know what the operation is to cut those. I bet it's in here somewhere. Uh, if we go look at sugar beets, would it be in this? Um, planters, tanks, seeds. Uh, is there a, is it a place that you take to cut them? Is that what it is? I, I genuinely don't know. That That's new, obviously, to, to this. We have not seen that before. Sugar, there's beet technology right there. Um, it's got to be a place that you take them then, right? Or a, a, some device that you pick up for them or something? Tips them into a trailer. This one needs the header. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll follow him just to finish filling up. Um, I'll look it up here in a minute to see what what that would be. Oh, somebody suggested dropping sensitivity in the game down to like 50%. That might help with some of the kind of jerkiness of steering with the controller. I'll have to remember to do that here in just a second. We're going to fill up on this row. Yep. Nice. Let me get you past the bridge and then we'll turn you on autopilot. Although before I do that, let's, let's actually go check that out real quick. Sensitivity would be where... Um, in here somewhere, probably. Um, steering sensitivity. So if we drop this down to about 50%, we'll see if that, that may be too small for, or too low for me, for, for my taste, but we'll try it out. I mean, this tractor right here actually turns very smoothly. Uh, so we'll try it out on one of the other tractors in a bit. It's already getting dark. All right, let's get you headed up here, my friend. Uh, 
wrong one. <laughs> Make sure I picked the right one this time. All right, you are over here. All right, cool. You're good. Let's see. What are you doing? First off, we heard a, I heard a baseball game going on. Or I heard the audio for one. That was kind of cool sounding. Anyway, all right. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what's your problem, AI driver dude? You decided to take the extra scenic route. I mean, you took this route earlier and you were fine. I'm not sure what your problem is this time. Actually, a cool set of buildings over here. Slight distraction. Apologies, but... Um, like, these are cool. I wish you... I'm like, if these doors opened up, that would be awesome. Obviously, you could store equipment in here if you bought, like, this stuff. Um, nothing here, unfortunately. And it looks like this is closed as well. It'd be cool if these guys... These things open, but, yeah. Kind of a cool little setup. Turn on all the lights just <laughs> just so we could see on the, the video. Do not try this at home. Do not drive with all your lights on. I think it feels like it drifts a bit, which is a little weird. I'm sure what's... Is it just being pushed by the trailer because it's such a heavy trailer? Or is it just the nature of the, how this particular tractor is driving? It just feels like it's... Like most of the other tractors can lock, lock on to a, a, a steering heading and do pretty good. This one occasionally seems like it just drifts a little bit more. Like right there. Like it's steering to the left. And I was not steering at all. It should have been going fairly straight. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's just kind of weird. All right, should get us 50%. So two more loads and that one contract will be in. The big contract will be done. Oh, 45. Get you headed back here.
check in. Everything else looks good. All right. Oh, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, uh, can I fast forward or will that disrupt the sugar beet? Uh, sugar beets have one more month, so we should be able to fast forward and still harvest, I think. But uh, we'll see. I might just harvest through the night and just come back when it's done. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to our first channel member ever, Telrenar. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.